Okay, so look who I found wandering around the car park. <laughs> this lady is a very special lady to me. This is the lady who got me started in the sugar craft world many years ago, and this is who you maybe heard me refer referring to in the past as Mrs. Young, <laughs> um, Cecilia. Um, have you enjoyed yourself? I had a ball, thank you. you. Great. Well, we've been trying to, to, get, to, to organise this uh, day for a long time yes. and it's finally here and it's, just been, it's, it's been such an honour to have you uh, come to the studio and film. Well, it's been an honour for me to come and do it. It's oh, been brilliant. That's, that's I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And we've created this lovely cake. It's just been a, a, a bit of a, a fun day. Okay, uh, yes. and it's, it's created, it's beautiful, it's lovely. It's, I think it's a very contemporary cake. Uh, and uh, and um, Cecilia's going to show it to me these beautiful flowers if you come and watch the, the tutorial, which is just uh, fantastic. Now, I suppose we should really be talking about our, our history. Yes. <laughs> Let's not use so many numbers, though, <laughs> about how long we've known each other. Um, way, way, way back when I was at high school, um, I was, um, when you're, when you're uh, what were they called? The people who get adv your advice, your advice, your advice. Um, Careers advice. Careers advice, well, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, I wasn't quite sure whether to go into catering as a, as a chef or going to the, the sort of bakery side. And thankfully, uh, a lady called Mrs. Scott uh, told me to uh, get in contact with Telford College in Edinburgh. And, um, and then that's where it all began for me. I didn't really like school, didn't really get on well at high school. Uh, and then when I came into Mrs. Young's class, it was like a, a breath of fresh air um, because it was learning something I actually wanted to learn uh, and get hands dirty and create. Well, actually, it wasn't a lot of cake decorating. It was actually bakery. So it was actually a bakery course, wasn't it? It was a bakery yeah, course, yeah. but there was an element of cake decorating in it, and your talent shone through. <laughs> so I was able to foster that. Yeah. And it's an absolute pleasure to see you where you are now. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, it's, um, uh, well, it's teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, it's, uh, and, and even to this day, I mean, it's, uh, I, well, I spent two years, it was a, an NC and an HNC, uh, craft baking, baking technology, uh, but uh, I loved it so much. Uh, I went away to work in uh, a placement, uh, Oliphants, uh, which, which you got me as well. That's right. Um, and, uh, and I went to work there, and then they, they kept me on full time. Now, when I worked after being at college, the first cake I was asked to make, I couldn't make it. <laughs> after spending two years, and it was, it was um, Stargaze and Lilies. Um, so um, I decided to go back again and we did the night school class. Good evening class, uh, yes. Yep, and, uh, that was, I think, was that a couple of years or a year? I can't remember. I think it was, was a year. Was that a year? Yeah. yeah and it just helped to refine the, the detail. And right. I think that's when you're making cakes. The, the, uh, you should always be learning new techniques all the time because things change um, over, over the years. So just to ask you a few questions, how did you get started in cake decorating? I got started at cake decorating when I was a student learning to be a teacher of home economics. Wow, wow. Um, at the end of our course, we had to do a class project. So I thought I would be lazy and I would go to the art department and I would just sit and draw. And the art tutor took one look at my work and said, your astigmatism is showing. You can't draw a straight line. Go away and decorate cakes. So I did. Wow. And this is history. And yeah. This is history. Yes. And uh, so that's where it all started, and then you actually opened a, you had a cake shop, I didn't you? I had a cake shop yes. in Edinburgh, yes, called the Cake and Chocolate Shop, which yeah. was uh, great a, fun. It's a fantastic shop. Really fostered my abilities, and uh, I just loved it, it was fantastic. Oh yeah, I remember when I was at high school, just before I went to college, and you'd been in Edinburgh, you'd always make a point of driving down, that, or walking down that street, just so you could see the, yes. see it, have a wee peek in the window, and uh, see what cakes uh, were involved. And then you left the cake shop to go, go back, back to teach. Go back to teach, and then that's where, where we met uh, all those many moons ago. <laughs> it doesn't feel that long ago, Paul. It doesn't. So that's a scary thing. It just yes. feels like it was yesterday. It does. Which is, uh, which is uh, quite scary. And uh, you've got another string to your bow. Uh, you're also the the British Sugar Craft Guild. I've got uh, very involved with the British Sugar Craft yes. Guild over the years, and I'm now the Edinburgh chairman of the Edinburgh branch, and I am chair of the number one region in Britain, which is Scotland and Northern Ireland. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, so, so I've fostered that and made such a lot of lovely friends through it. It's been brilliant. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember we back at college, you took, I remember we went down one night. I think there was a special guest. Ah, yes. And you, you invited us to go down uh, 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 to, to see the... I can't remember who it was. See the demonstration, I can't, yes. I can't remember who it was, but I remember just... That, that, that was like a different dimension, getting to see a real cake be made and, and, and the enthusiasm with the, the guild. Yes, and, and uh, because the guild want to share their, their knowledge, it's great. Oh no, it's, it's a great it's way. Really and it's, if you're not part of the guild, you should definitely join it. Because uh, you don't have to go all the time, but of course you can use it as a resource That's when right. there's special guests and, and different things on as well. And there is a big, 
a big event coming up yes, in the calendar. on the 10th of June next year, we're going to have our region exhibition uh. in Tully Allen Police College. Oh, oh yeah, it's you were telling me that. It's a fabulous venue. Oh, it's, it's like a castle. Big castle, yeah. And it has accommodation so everyone can come and stay. And oh, right. We've got lots of people coming, um, like Kerry, Kerry Griffiths. Griffiths and... Um, Robert Haynes. Robert Haynes is coming as well, yes. yeah. yeah. And lots well, it's actually of my people. birthday, so I'll need to come along. Oh, you'll have to yeah, come along, Yeah, I'll have to yes. come along, that'll be a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's really good to the, the region, the, these events that you have, because it, it brings everyone together. Yes. And of course, and well, in places like Scotland, we don't have the big cake shows. That's so. right, so we have competitions and the judges come up and from London and everything, and it's just brilliant. In fact, I remember I've been so nervous, I was doing a demonstration at the last one in Glasgow that I was, uh, I was able to go to, and I didn't realise Eddie Spence was in the audience. <laughs> and I think if I knew he was in the audience at the start, there'd been a nervous wreck. Uh, but it was such a de- as soon as the demonstration was finished, he walked right up and shook my hand. Yes. And it was just such a nice thing to do. Oh, yeah. um, so that, that's a nice thing about the Cake World. It's such a friendly, it is. It's such fabulous. a friendly place. Yeah. So, uh, so. Well, it's been great fun having you here. It's been a pleasure to uh, yeah, be here. Uh, it's, it's, and it's I've thoroughly been, enjoyed it's it. It's been so good to uh, finally getting getting you in the calendar and <laughs> and making it happen. Making it happen. And uh, yes. hopefully um, we can do another tutorial in the future. Hopefully, fingers well, that'll crossed. Be great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. No problem.